This baby was a big part, I think, of how Blossom convinced him to come back. And he's like, how did I get you pregnant? I'm dead. Oh, the baby's making him feel so emotional. The world works in mysterious ways. So we are on season two, episode 18 of our Crybaby Whim series. And we are here with Blossom and a newly resurrected Peter, a newly pregnant Blossom and a newly resurrected Peter. So Peter is back from the dead and you might notice he's looking, he's not looking like his cute little wholesome self anymore. So he's got some like scars on his face. His hair is a little bit lighter. His skin is a bit pastier. Clearly death has taken its toll on Peter and he is looking a little bit worse for wear, but also still incredibly attractive, I think. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, look, his mom is like, oh my gosh, Peter, is that you? Now, in addition to Peter's new look, he has some new traits. So you'll notice he's now evil. He's also jealous. That was actually a trait he developed as soon as he came back to life because he caught his dad flirting with Blossom. He's also gloomy now and he's still a loner. He was always a loner, but he's still a loner. And now he has this sinister personality trait. Sinister Sims are always up to no good, trying to achieve their goals no matter the consequences. So <laughs> that's our Peter. This is not the Peter that we remember from before. Oh, now these two are flirting, which is good, I guess, because they're the ones that are married. I don't know why Peter's dad was flirting with Blossom. But the one thing I did actually do off camera was I used their money to renovate their house. So you'll notice that we have significantly less funds than we had before. And that is because we're going to be going home to a brand new cottage. So we're probably going to finish New Year's Eve today. It's already afternoon because we spent most of the day trying to bring Peter back to life. Peter who's here and he's feeling a little bit embarrassed from having his privacy invaded and he's feeling drifting love, caught the love of his life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? Oh no. We have a couple of angry toddlers here. Actually, Ivy's not doing too, too bad, which is good. She's just playing. She's off to go play with a toy. They're still in their PJs. I think like, I think it's just been a little bit of a chaotic day. What with Peter coming back to life and Peter is going through a whole bunch of emotions here. He's resenting a cheater. It's really unpleasant to be around someone who betrayed Peter's trust. So Peter is really upset at Blossom, even though it was his dad that flirted with her. I don't think Blossom actually had anything to do with it. All right, let's give Oak a little bit of food. I think he's angry because he's hungry. So maybe a little bit of food will help. And I think we actually need to feed Ivy as well. So let's make sure to get her something to eat. Peter is evil. Evil sums he can happy from the misery of others and have a variety of ways to accomplish this. And the other thing with Peter is he is now in the criminal career track. So the reason that we had to change his personality traits and put him in the criminal career track was all a part of the challenge rules. If you do check out the challenge rules, if you're on YouTube, you can check in the description and I have the challenge rules link there as well. His makeover is, it's not something that you have to do. It's just something that I did because I felt like it made sense. But yeah, so we're going to play out the rest of New Year's Eve. We're going to try and maybe celebrate a little bit if we can. And then we're going to head home tomorrow and we're going to check out the new house. So that's the plan for today. And we're just kind of going to see how we acclimatize to this new evil Peter. So poor Blossom, she's been through so much and she worked so hard to get to this moment of bringing Peter back. And I don't think she's fully realized. She might notice that he looks a little different, but I don't think she's fully realized exactly all of the changes that have taken place. Why is he angry? Meanie from being lectured. How dare they? Who do they think they are? So look at that. Oak is starting to feel a little bit fed up with his life as well. It's not just Ivy anymore. Ivy, you have a sandwich here. You eat that, please. I'm not sure why Oak is on a hunger strike. He did not eat his applesauce, I see. And I have a feeling he's still hungry. Yeah. Oak's like on a hunger strike. I'm not sure why. He's refusing to eat. Why is she sad? Because she needs amusement. There's uh, so many toys around here. I'm sure that you can amuse yourself with something. You can even come and like watch TV with your grandma. Why don't you do that? What is she doing? Oh, did she ask her? Oh, that's so cute. You want Oliver to do? Oh, I'm sad I interrupted that. That's really cute. Um, but she's going to go watch some TV. And come on, Oak, eat something. Eat the applesauce then. 
We're leaving so many dirty dishes around. <laughs> Nobody is cleaning up. And, um, oh yeah, right, it's countdown to midnight. Can I get Blossom to watch it? I think I missed it for her. Oh well, that's okay. Blossom is angry. Everyone's a bit of a mess. Just go to bed, Blossom. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Just get a good night's sleep. We'll wake up in the morning. Everything will be better. There we go. They're having a nice little cuddle, so at least they are able to do that. The twins need to keep sleeping. They're tired. He needs to keep sleeping. He's tired, so Blossom is the only one up. She's feeling sad, but she's also sparkling. You know what? Really, once Blossom eats, I think we're going to head home, and I'm going to show you our beautiful new house, and I'm going to put this in the fridge in the hopes that, look, somebody cleaned up. It must have been our... <laughs> It must have been our in-laws. That's so nice. The house was so messy yesterday and it's like pristine this morning. Oh, the toddler probably's not been cleaned, but yeah, everything else pretty much has been. Oh, and I think that he might be coming to clean it. Oh no, he's coming to get Ivy. Oh, that's so cute. Look, what a sweet grandpa. He's coming to get his granddaughter. But it looks like the twins are up and Blossom's feeling, you know, decent. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's go get the ultrasound first because the grandparents can watch the twins. And then we're going to head home. We're going to bring Peter with us. It will be good for us to, I think, get away from the family and sort of have just the two of them be on their own. So we are at the hospital. We're going to get a little bit of blood work done first. And Peter is with us, but I feel like he's not coming. So he should probably come because this is his child. I know he's feeling a little bit hurt. Oh, why is he feeling shared sadness from a close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. Oh, so he is sharing Blossom's sadness a little bit. Honestly, like that whole cheating thingy, I have a feeling it was probably something innocent. But the fact that Peter is a little bit, you know, everything has changed for him. Like his hormones are off. His like, I, I don't know, his emotions. That's what I'm trying to think. His emotions are a little all over the place from being brought back to life. I think that maybe his dad was actually just, trying to be nice or something like that and he took it as being something more serious than it actually was he's just more sensitive right now I think so oh the baby's making him feel so emotional this baby was a big part I think of how Blossom convinced him to come back she's like you didn't get to see our other two kids grow up but I really want you to be there for this one and he's like how did I get you pregnant I'm dead <laughs> but she's like well you know, um, the world works in mysterious ways. So anyways, he's seen that the baby, he's gone for this ultrasound, which is quite nice. And let's see what we're having. The ultrasound scan shows that you're expecting a healthy baby boy. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad to see it's only one baby. Now that we are back, we are going to end our vacation and we're going to head back home and you will all get to see the cottage renovation that I did. We had a wonderful winter fest. It was very emotional. There was a lot of ups and downs, what with Peter coming back. But we are going to head back home. And I think Blossom is really hoping that being back home will just help to kind of like anchor Peter back into reality a little bit. I don't know if she's like aware that he's kind of maybe started looking for ways to make money, but not in the same way that he was doing before because he was quite successful in his like horticulture career. He's more on the criminal path now. So this is our new house. Basically, I did reuse most of the items. Like I reused almost everything that we had before. And then I added a few new items. So how I built the cottage was, I don't know if you remember, but a couple episodes ago, we saw this down here. And I decided that this was going to inspire the cottage build. Oh my gosh, why can I see it much better now than I could when I was building? I didn't see that it has a bay window out front. So anyways, I did my best to kind of make it look like this. And look, you can kind of see from this angle, they almost look like they could be the same. So I feel like I succeeded, but oh my gosh, whoa, 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 it's so pretty. So I'll give you a little tour without, I'll try and not make you sick, but no promises. I'm not very good at driving this thing. This is the front of the cottage. I guess that this should be a bay window, which maybe I'll modify, but I think I have a fireplace there. And if you come over to this side, so I've expanded the garden a little bit. So the chickens area and the garden area, I just feel like it's shaped a little bit better. And then if you come around the side here, there's this little outdoor space. And this is where I put our laundry line. So we do still have that. And then we've got a nice little picnic area here. 
and our stove and our telescope. And then if we come in here, this is actually the side door. That's the front door that we saw before, but I feel like they'll actually use this door more. And there's this nice little entryway with some books. There should be another bookcase there. I think it's actually there, but we just don't see it right now. And then we've got a little play area in the corner here. And I did get this arts and crafts station because the toddlers will be aging up into children soon. So I figured that they would like that. This is actually our same couch that we had before. I just, it was a sectional. So I got a few more pieces to the sectional. So now it's a little bigger. And then it's our same fireplace and TV. And then the entryway, I put this like little console here. But these are all decoration pieces that we had before. And I added a few new plants and then some old decorations that were in the house before. And then this is just a little toilet that's on the main floor. Very simple, nothing special. And then if we come through here, this is the kitchen. So we have our dining table. We have a couple of high chairs for the twins. And then the kitchen is a little bigger. So it's all the same countertops and everything that we had before, but there's more of them. And then through this store, I love all of the windows now that we have. And then through this tour, this is Blossom and Peter's room. A lot of the furniture here is the same. I did move a few plants indoors. Yeah, there's our pictures that we had before. There's our old Peter, photos of our old Peter. So we're going to have to take photos of Peter with his new look now. And then they have this little tiny bathroom here with this little shower. I actually forgot to play test this, so I don't know if that works. So we'll have to see that. But this was actually the bathroom stuff that was upstairs before. The full bathroom stuff now I've moved upstairs to where the kids will be sleeping. So then if we come up here, here. This is the second floor landing. There's a cute little window here that you can look out onto the garden. Now this first bedroom, this will be the baby's nursery. So I haven't decorated it yet. I, I painted it a little bit and I put some of the baby stuff in here from before. And then if we come out here, this is Oak's room. I was trying to remember. Oh yeah, I was having problems putting a ceiling on. So there's no ceiling for some reason. There should be. But he has a nice new big wardrobe and mirror. And I put a shelf on here with a bunch of cool stuff for him. I tried to think like there's still a lot of toddler items in here. But I also tried to leave some things here that will make more sense once he ages up into a child. And here's his little bed next to the window. It's very cute. And he's got this little dinosaur rocking horse that's a dinosaur. And then, yeah, there's there's some items up here, like a little radio and stuff that he can play with once he gets a bit older. This is the bathroom, so nothing special. Somehow I didn't save the shower, so I put a different one in because, I don't know, I was just going through the showers and I liked that one. This is our laundry room slash like kind of like the baby change table room. So I have potties in here and... I have this here and then I actually have an extra dresser in here. So I was like, maybe, you know, the toddlers are going to age up. But for a little while, there will be an infant and a toddler that we'll have. So I kind of thought, OK, having a change room sort of in the middle of the house and maybe an extra dresser with like baby clothes in the laundry room would make sense. And then finally, this is Miss Ivy's room. So she's got a cute room as well. I kind of themed both their rooms around the colors of their bed. And she's got a shelf as well with some fun activities just like Oak got. She's still got some of her toddler toys down there. She also got a rocking dinosaur. And she's got a nice big wardrobe in here. That's kind of why I gave her this room. And I have this desk here for when she ages up into a child. For Oak, we're going to have to put a desk in. But Ivy's room was looking a little empty. So I ended up adding the desk now even though she can't use it yet. So And then, yeah, you'll see for some reason Oak's is the only room I was not able to put a ceiling on. So when I click on this and I click build ceiling, oh, oh my gosh, of course it works while you're all watching. <laughs> I swear I was doing that and I kept getting an error message. I swear, I swear, but it's working now. So I guess that's good. It's no longer an issue. So that is our new house. I hope you all like it. Let's see what everyone is doing. Oh, Ivy is like really tired for some reason. So I'm going to have her come up here and go sleep in her bed. Oak is also tired, so he can come and sleep in his bed. We've got Peter, who's just kind of feeling fine. Maybe he can come and check on the chickens. Just see how they've been doing since we've been gone. And for a blossom, she's doing fine as well. Maybe we can like change out of our hospital gown. I don't know. <laughs> just a suggestion. And then let's come and check our baby bunk. So this is part of the Panda Sama mod. It's really, really cute. Look at how cute she is. Checking herself out. Checking it from all angles. 
But I do hope that you all like the cottage renovation. I think Blossom is pretty happy that she's got so much space now. I don't think, I actually, it's a lot more space than I really imagined. And so I was pretty happy we were able to fit in so many rooms because I did really want to make sure everyone had their own room. But yeah, I actually quite like the twins' rooms. Look at his outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of like the boots, not gonna lie. So for his job, he's a tough guy. So he's at the bottom, criminal level one. Every criminal mastermind needs an entry-level bodyguard with irrational anger issues. Peter will beef up doorways and rumble through dark alleys, keeping rivals at bay with those three little words. What are you looking at? Next promotion is Petty Thief. We're going to have to do some mischief interactions once he's done. So yeah, the twins are... Oh my gosh, is it their birthday today? Oh, the twins are aging up into children already. Do we celebrate their birthday today? I guess we might as well because... yeah. I didn't realize it was their birthday. Oh my gosh. This is typical though. Blossom has been so distracted with bringing Peter back. Their birthday probably also snuck up on her. So I am not surprised one bit. I think our goal before we age them up will be to give them a bath. And Blossom is just going to do a little bit of cleaning as well. Because the kitchen actually is <laughs> dirty. It's like really dirty. And then maybe Peter can give the kids their baths. And I guess he works every day of the week. It doesn't look like he gets a day off. Blossom has the day off, though, which is good. I think she's going to probably take a little bit of family time for this baby because, you know, she has Peter back now, so she doesn't really have anything else to focus on. So I think she's going to focus a little bit more on actually taking care of the kid. Ooh, should we send the twins for their last day of preschool? I guess so. Yeah, let's send them. That will give us time to kind of get everything ready for their birthday. I'm going to miss the twins as toddlers. I feel like they weren't toddlers for very long. So I'm going to have these two maybe like flirt a little bit. He's feeling pretty flirty. So I do want them to kind of try and get their romance up a little bit. Here, share your insecurities a little. You know, I think like Peter still appreciates that she brought him back to life. And maybe he's like a little bit up and down in his emotions. But like... The same Peter, he's still in there somewhere. Maybe it's like not necessarily from a bad place. Maybe he wants to like protect other Sims from dying. Like he knows Blossom brought him back to life. So maybe he wants to explore that a little bit. And in doing that, he starts turning to illegal things. He's like, well, you know, nobody else is going to help me. So I have to help myself kind of thing. I kind of think maybe that's where Peter's head is. Peter's feeling particularly loyal and committed to his relationships these days. Trust is important to him. Embrace the change. You know what? I think yes. I think Peter still is a loyal sim. I mean, he may be evil, but he also is loyal to Blossom because she brought him back to life. If that tells you nothing else, it's that he knows Blossom is dedicated to him and he appreciates that. I do wonder if we can have Blossom maybe try to reassure him a little bit. Like just say, you know, I wasn't cheating on you or anything. It was innocent. It was just your father being kind of himself. Like he's being a little bit weird. I don't know. Like he's been a little weird since you've been gone and he's been coping in strange ways, but I don't think he meant anything by it. You know, it might have been crossing a little bit of a boundary, but it's like, I am only here for you kind of thing. Something like that. I am going to have the twins come home now, I believe. And we're going to get their cake out because I do want to age them up before Peter leaves for work. There we go. And they're in pretty good moods. I think Ivy was born first, if I remember. So I think we'll have Peter age up Ivy and I'll have Blossom age up Oak. Here we go. Woo -woo. <laughs> oh, who took cake? Oh, who took a slice of cake? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you ruined your own birthday. So Ivy has aged up from the fussy trait. Now she is going to be our Gen 2 heir. So I'm actually going to see what the Gen 3 traits are. So I think maybe we'll start with Geek was what I was thinking as a child. These Sims come happy when reading sci-fi or playing video games, may become tense if they haven't played much, are better at finding collectibles, and can discuss geek things with other geek Sims. So Ivy is going to be a geek, so she's going to really like gaming and stuff like that, and she's going to spend a lot of time online. And I think for her, because she aged up with the bad infant life stage, and, you know, I don't think her experience as a toddler was the best either, 
The reason why is maybe it's a little bit of an escape for her to get online and to play video games and stuff like that. And so it's a nice way for her to distract herself. And I think for her, she's going to focus on, she's going to have the mental aspiration. She's going to be a bit of a whiz kid because she's been quite smart from what we've seen so far. So there's Miss Ivy. She has aged up. She is looking cute. And then we have to age up Oak as well. Now he also aged up with all his skills and he aged up as angelic. That was his toddler skill. And of course he had the happier infant, but we did start to see that he was starting to rebel a little bit as well already. So I'm not too sure what makes sense for him. I mean, we could make him like shy. These Sims get uncomfortable around Sims who do not like them and get embarrassed around Sims who they are not close to. They are, however, happy to be around friends and get confident around good friends and loved ones. So I think we'll make Oak shy. And then maybe we can give him one of the multi skills. Maybe this creative genius. This Sim wants to build their creative and mental skills to innovate and play. So here's Oak. Oh, he's got purple hair. <laughs> and he's got like bruised looking eyes. But I will give them a makeover and I'll probably go back to review their skin details, make them as close as possible as to what they were as twins. But yeah, this is what the twins are looking up, looking like. So I think Ivy had green eyes, but it looks like her eyes have turned blue. And then Oak had blue eyes, but his eyes have turned brown. So I don't know what's going on with their genetics. They're a little bit all over the place. But we'll definitely give them a makeover, but I will do that off camera. But what we can do is we can set up their bedrooms for them as kids. We only had their cute toddler rooms for like a second. They didn't stay toddler rooms for long. And then we'll have to do this nursery up next time because we probably will be giving birth in the next episode. But I will give these two a makeover so that hopefully they don't, you know, look like they've just been punched in the eyes. Peter is settling in back to his life. He's off to his new late night job. So we did manage to age him up before he went to work. And then Blossom is just here kind of, you know, I think she's trying, she's a little bit like, trying to ignore the fact that like something is not quite right with Peter. She's just sort of like trying to prepare for this next baby that is coming and just imagine that everything is fine and that, you know, this new baby's going to come and everything's going to go back to how it was and be even better, you know, now that she can be a little bit more present in her kids' lives. So yeah, that's where I will end the part for today. If you're on YouTube, please like the episode if you're enjoying the series and subscribe so you don't miss an episode and I will see you next time. Bye.